friends, welcome to Coffee with Monica. And if you notice, I'm not by myself today. We actually have a co-host for Coffee with Monica, and she's going to discuss with me some hot topics. And who are you, by the way? Sherry Livingston. And what do you do, by the way? I am the editor and publisher of Lady Magazine Online. And what are we getting ready to do? We're about to discuss some hot topics. Oh, we! I can't wait. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back on Coffee with Monica with hot topics. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts, stop the wrecks. Welcome back to Coffee with Monica. And today I am not going solo. I have my friend, my partner as an entrepreneur, because we're yes. both entrepreneurs, Sherry Livingston. And as you know, she has a wonderful magazine, Lady Magazine. And you guys, that thing is going to do some great stuff. But she's here today because we're going to do talk about some hot topics. Okay. Um, there, you know, people are always talking about different things that are going on in the community, around the nation. Right around uh, the world and we just felt like we can do it too because there's some things that our people like to talk about right so I want to thank you for being my co-host today thank you for inviting me so it's so coffee excited. with Monica with Sherry okay I like the way that sounds <laughs> <laughs> well let's just let's just dive on in because we were hunting some things and, and right. researching and seeing what was going on so let's just dive right in what's, what's the first thing you want to talk about well, you know, um, there's a lot that's, you know, going on and not just in the world, in the mm -hmm. community, but within certain people's ministries. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, well, what, one of the most interesting things just recently is mm -hmm. um, there is a, a gospel couple that um, actually just got a divorce. Mm -hmm. It's not strange that they got a divorce. What's mm -hmm. strange is... Um, after I did some reading, I found that the statement is that their ministries were the reasons for the divorce. And uh, um, the gentleman actually says that uh, there was not a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. And so because he lacked balance, he, he put a lot of his work into ministry, mm -hmm. has focused into ministry, mm -hmm. and she as well. They were both, you know, very well-known yeah. celebrities yeah, in yeah. the gospel industry. And... Uh, um, whose names we're not going to disclose. Yeah, we, I want to. I really, really want to, but I know we decided that we weren't going to put names out right. there like they do on, on other shows. Because like, this may be a common issue right, within right. more than just these particular people. But you know what? With this couple, like you said, they are a celebrity couple mm -hmm. in the gospel realm. And also, he has done movies. Right. Um, she's been in movies. Right. I mean, they have traveled the world. I mean, people know this couple, and they're very credible. They you know, really they've are. done some great things. But what shocked me when we were talking about this is when ministry was the reason for the breakup. Right. And to me, that doesn't go hand in hand because, you know, if they're a Christian couple, and like they say that they are, right. the Bible says that marriage is an honorable thing. And, and we know that God hates divorce, you know, even in the Old Testament, you know, in Malachi, it says that God does hate divorce. Mm -hmm. But, and I think that a lot of, um, especially people who have been divorced and mm -hmm. stuff like that, no one wants to feel like conviction right. or, or condemnation for that matter right. about, you know, things that happen. Because in all actuality, we don't know exactly what could have been the root of right. their divorce. Yeah. But to use ministry as your excuse of getting in the right. voice, it kind of seems like a house divided against itself. Exactly. You know, because, and, and personally, you know, for me, mm -hmm. I believe that our families are our first ministry. Right, right. You know, there's a story in the Bible, we all know about it, um, about the uh, man who was possessed by all the demons, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he was homeless, he was uh, possessed for several, several years, yeah. he's living out in the graveyard, mm -hmm. Jesus comes through, and he frees the man of this de demonic possession. Right. And so the guy is like super excited, mm -hmm. he wants to run and tell everybody, yeah. and he tells Jesus, I want to go with you. Yeah. But Jesus tells him, don't go with me, you can't go with me, mm -hmm. you need to go and tell your family about See? the things that God has done. Yeah. So that was a charge for him, is to go and minister to his family. Right. And so, um, like I said, when in all actuality, we have no idea what mm -hmm. the root could have been, mm -hmm. but I think that, uh, that there is a lot to say when it yeah. comes to um, how, you know, God has given you this ability, God has given you, you know, his grace to be able to minister and witness to people, but mm -hmm. what good is it going to do when those very people 
are breaking up. Are right, th right, yeah. right yeah. there with you. Yeah. And it, the the relationships are being severed. Yeah. You know. It it's disturbing to me. Mm -hmm. It's really disturbing to me because what separating us from the world. And then there are, I mean, stories after story after story after story about ministry couples breaking up because right. of the business of the ministry. And right. I think we need to find balance. Right. And I mean, even, okay, you can even take a step further from that. If you're not in ministry, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, ministry, ministry, people, professionals. Right. If you have like high power careers, I mean, still the home front home front has to come first it and I to. I mean in my life you know I'm I live a very very busy life right but I have to make sure that I'm wife and that I'm mom first right I have to otherwise it's gonna turn my house upside down and then I'll be on the front page of the page well not the front page <laughs> but I'll be in somebody's mouth and I can imagine it's got to be like really hard for you you know balancing several different things and then your family and your husband you no know, because my family comes first okay that I have sense. learned that my family comes first mm -hmm. and then everything else trickles underneath that. And it's so funny because there's a certain time of the day when my husband has to go to work. It's like now my phone doesn't ring at that point. It's like I'm getting him ready for lunch. I'm getting him ready for work. So during that time, that's that's our time. And anything else has to take a back seat to wow. it. So we have to find balance in our life. But that's really I just awesome pray that they get it together because yeah. they're a really super, super couple. I mean, they really are. Yeah. But, and, and I'll be honest, you know, um, right now I'm currently in school. Mm -hmm. um, I'm studying religion. And I tell you, like, between school and my son, mm -hmm. it is hard sometimes. Yeah, and I can't hard. imagine being in full-time ministry. Yeah. Especially the demands of having to travel and then, you know, meeting up with different people and working on all these different projects. Yeah. But just studying alone and I mean there's tons of times where I feel like me having to do exams or you know write papers mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time for me and my son mm -hmm. but whenever I do have that time with him it's quality, quality time. time I mean Absolutely. we're on the floor coloring pictures and all sorts of things yeah but I make sure that um, he doesn't feel singled out mm -hmm. he doesn't feel left out of the equation of mommy's life right because mommy's choosing to you know go yeah. to school and study and so so that's important balance balance so that's the lesson for all of us in this subject is balance balance okay. right so we want to talk about um, Tyler Perry. We're going to have to go to break. So when we come back, we're going to talk about the big TP. The new movie. The new movie. Yeah. I want to see it. I do. Okay. We want to I see do. it. Uh, I want to see it. Okay. <laughs> well, then we'll go back. We're going to talk about the new Tyler Perry movie. We've got some mixed reviews, mixed comments from people. So don't go away. We're going to dive right into that when we come back on Coffee with Monica with Sherry Livingston. We'll see you right back. Over 13 million people are affected by famine, war, and drought in the Horn of Africa. Make a simple text donation of $10. But do more than donate. Forward the facts. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Coffee with Monica. You with know, me. And Monica. <laughs> and Monica. <laughs> you know you did that quite well. Are we grooming you for a show? Is that what we're doing? You know, I'll receive it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue on with our hot topics. Yes. All right, what do you have for us, Sherry? Okay, so it's been trending that Tyler Perry is going to be starring in a new action suspense thriller psycho killer movie. And I think it's going to be great. You do? I do. I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be great. Can I just... Okay. Voice my opinion. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna this. I mean, like my opinion matters. It's mine. It it matters to me. Whatever he does, it's it's excellent. It's great. I just don't know how I feel about a thriller or a suspense type thing with Tyler Perry. I don't know how I feel about that. And you know, a lot of people are actually kind of concerned about that mm -hmm. um, simply because. It's out of his it's out of his character, mm -hmm. really. And then he's actually stepping away from his own studio yeah. to do this. Yeah. And I actually just read on um like Hollywood Reporter, there's lots of people thinking that his um current um, you know, group of people who support his his current group of supporters yeah. will not support him in this film. They're not expecting a lot of legs to come out. That's a quote. 
That's a quote. Legs. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I know I, it's going to be good. Maybe I'm not ready for the change. And see, I'm the one, I'm the biggest one. Change is great. Yeah, yeah. Go change. I just, I'm going to go see it. I just need to be ready for it. Now, I was also reading, um, I get his uh, tweets. Mm -hmm. Is that what you call them, tweets? And then also the post on Facebook. Right. And he was talking about this new deal that he's working out with the with OWN, with the Oprah Network. Right, What's yeah. going on with that? He's actually going to be uh, writing and producing scripted um, sit sitcoms. It's going to be a series of scripted sitcoms mm -hmm. on the OWN Network. Okay. And obviously, once again, people are questioning, is this going to be something beneficial for him, beneficial for Oprah, mm -hmm. whatever the situation is. But they're thinking because of, you know, obviously Tyler Perry, he's, you know, on TBS and he's, you know, created this audience of people yeah. who watch his shows, which is great. And then you have Oprah, who mm -hmm. has this whole network. Right. And so if the two of them come together, you know, I think, honestly, I really think that's kind of a good idea. Yeah. I think one thing that, you know, we can kind of get into our heads is when we get here to a certain point, mm -hmm. we think uh, the spotlight should be about us and yeah. us alone. We can't yeah. help each other. Yeah. And so I think it'll be good for Oprah more than anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, yeah, it would be good for her. I guess um, with all of this, I think the lesson in this topic really is about change. Right, right. Because people that we see on television, we follow their lives, we read mm -hmm. their posts, we read, I mean, we read all about them, and then they become like a household name. It's like they become right. a part of our lives. They reinvent themselves. They do. Yeah. And and I think we have to be um, open to change. Mm -hmm. It's their lives. Right. Who are we to say what they can and cannot do? I'm a really huge Tyler Penn supporter. And Tyler to be Penn honest supporter. with you, sometimes, you know, this whole, like, Medea thing, it gets a little old to me. Are you really? Are you tired of Medea? I mean, Medea, she's funny and she's cute, but it's like, <laughs> come on, Tyler, now. Because now some, it's hard for me to, when I look at him, he looks like a big dork to me, you know? I cannot so, believe you call so if I see Perry. him, So if I see him in this more serious, <laughs> like, how dare you, no yeah. one's going to take my loved one kind of, then maybe I can look at him in a different light. But see, that's that's where my transitional problem is. It's coming out of the whole Tyler Perry that we have grown to right. love and adore <laughs> over into the thriller guy. Right, yeah. So we got to be open to change. We got to be open to change. Well, go Tyler Perry, whatever you do, we support you. Woohoo! Keep being the role model. <laughs> what, what else do you have for us, Sherry? Oh, actually, um, we know that... Um, Bobby Brown uh -huh. and Whitney Houston's young daughter, uh -huh. um, Bobby Christina, as well as their family, are going to be doing a reality TV show on, uh, what is it, VH1? I want to say it's VH1. Yeah, I think so. It's airing. Yeah. The Houston's on our own. Um, and there is yet more controversy about whether this is going to be just a, a train wreck for <laughs> Bobby Christina. And she's only 19, yeah. so... That can kind of be an issue. And we all, all yeah. of us who watched the um, reality show mm -hmm. of Whitney Houston and right. Bobby Brown, it was horrible. Uh, yeah. It was so sad. I thought it was sad. It was sad. And so to um, know that they're going to be doing the same thing and then Bobby Christina, ultimately they're saying that um, her aunt is, you know, the leading lady. But mm -hmm. I think that we all know everybody just wants to watch Bobby Christina, Bobby, yeah. whether it's, you know, her coming up or... Mm -hmm. crashing after her mom's death. Wow. Yeah. I'm a little nervous about it. Yeah. And I just saw the trailer for yeah. it, and I just I know. don't know what to say about that one. I'm nervous. And like, once again, this these are my opinions here, right. but I'm a little nervous because I was watching um, Oprah Behind the Scenes, not mm -hmm. Oprah Behind the Scenes, but um, her new thing that she does. Right. And she was interviewing the Houston family, and mm -hmm. it was shortly after the death of Whitney. Right. And um, when they interviewed, when she interviewed Bobby Christina, you could still feel her hurt. Right. You could feel her pain. Um, her anxiety, she was really anxious on that interview. And it just seemed as if, like, this kid needed some more time right. to heal. She really did. And we know that she was dealing with some addiction issues and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. And what makes me nervous about this whole thing is if she has not dealt with her personal issues, then how is this show going to help 
get her on a healthy path because we know that behind those cameras and the celebrity status and all that, that brings on a whole, it does. a whole new beast, it if really you will. Does. So I'm kind of concerned about it. Yeah. I asked my 15 year old, we were watching the, the trailer to it mm -hmm. and um, she passed by and she saw it and I said, you know, how do you feel about that? And she, she's 15 and she's like, I don't know, mom. I don't know. Yeah, that's so, sad. We're gonna have to pray for her too. Huh? We have to. Yeah. We have to keep her lifted before God because, I mean, it could really be it could turn into a bad thing or it could turn into a good thing. You never know. Yeah. Do we know if Sissy? She is, is gonna going be, to in, be there. in this. I, in the trailer, there were several clips with her in it. Okay. There okay. were because I feel like Sissy is like the foundation right. of the Houston family. Mm -hmm. So hopefully she'll be able to pull some things together right. and bring some healing. And kind of be the voice of, of reason. The voice of reason. Yeah. I hope, I just hope it's not gonna be another Housewives. I know. That, that's not gonna I'm be sorry, good. you Housewives fam. I'm not slamming you guys. I just, you know, I hope it's not one of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, too we much have drama. too much drama. We have lots more to talk about, but let's go to break. And then we're going to bring some more hot topics to the table. Sounds Is that good? good. All right. We'll be right back with more hot topics on Coffee with Monica with Sherry Livingston. We'll be right back. Do your part. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank today. Welcome back to Coffee with Monica. I'm here with my co-host today, Sherry Livingston. And you know what? At the break, we figured out your role in this. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, like some of those news shows and entertainment shows, and they have like the person at the desk, the, the anchor person, and then they have the correspondent that comes on right. and they brings all this. I think we're on to something, Sherry. What do you okay. think? Okay. We're you, on to something. We're on to something. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I am enjoying it tremendously. <laughs> All right. So we're going to dive into some more hot topics. And the next one is on the table. And, you know, you and I talked about this. We kind of went back and forth on this one, right. whether we should talk about it or should we just table it, <laughs> blog we about, gonna about it. We're going to talk about it. Oh, she said we're going <laughs> to talk about it. Well... Mm -hmm. We all got the, the news flash, right. and I, I will never forget that day. I was at a track meet with my daughter, and my phone went ding, ding, ding. I kept hearing ding, 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 ding. I kept getting these posts, and it was about Creflo Dollar. I said his name. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. Okay, Everybody knows. Fine. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows the incident that occurred with him this summer. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like it, we needed to talk about it. Because, well, anyway, what's your views? I'll give my opinion last because you know I'm always the one. The Well, I, I think it's interesting. Um, I actually used to be a member of his church mm -hmm. when I lived in Atlanta. It was awesome. And so, um, you know, there are people who are thinking he beat his child, mm -hmm. which I, I totally do not think he actually physically abused his child. And right now, I mean, I can, I can honestly say... I got a lot of whoopings growing up, <laughs> and God know I needed them, okay? <laughs> and if I didn't get them, I wouldn't be as, you know, great of a person as I am now. <laughs> but I think that in where we are now in our society, yeah. it's like, it seems like people are a lot more um, free about things. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the children are a little bit more demanding, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, obviously our culture is is telling us to be rebels now, so. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm stepping out on the limb, and it's okay. I've been known to do that a time or two in my life, but you know, you said something about how, how the kids are kind of rebels right now. Mm -hmm. When I go in the grocery store, and I'm in Walmart, and I'm seeing these little ones falling out in the floor, Tearing down the racks, yeah, knocking crazy. food down off yeah. of the, the, the counters and screaming and yelling at their parent. I'm sorry, I have a problem yeah. with that. There's There's got to be some boundaries. Right. And this thing with, I wasn't there. We were not at the home. But from what I understand, this child basically got out of line mm -hmm. with, with her parent who's taking care of her. Who happens to be the... One of the biggest 
ministers. But I mean, even with even beside that, mm -hmm. that's your dad. Right. And at the end of the day, you've got to have respect for your parents. I don't care if your parent is whoever, you still have to have some respect for your parents. Right. And if he disciplined her, I feel that he has the right as a parent to discipline his child. Right. Without, you know, crossing the line of abuse. I mean, if you take a picture or roll the cameras when we were growing up, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how they would label that. They would probably have my parents in the bottom of the prison cell. So I'm <laughs> just joking. Love you, Mom. But I just, I just really feel like that situation went over the top. It did. It was it just really too much. And in our culture, in our culture, it is not strange that we discipline our children. It's not. Spankings whatever we do right it's just a part of our culture and then you know there's a scripture in the bible and i know y'all cringe when I, I won't even mention it but discipline our children we need to discipline our children maybe right. we won't have people going around with assault weapons right doing exactly. all kinds of ungodly stuff if we discipline our kids see right. i don't need y'all i don't need to get but there that. there are several yeah. scriptures talking about discipline yeah. now how you decide to discipline obviously god wants us to discipline in love right the best way to be disciplined obviously is by your parents because if you're not being disciplined at home yeah the, the system legal system discipline will you. discipline your child right and they will not have any kind of mercy on you. Yeah. And so I believe like, you know, God says things in order for a reason. Yeah. And he understands that, you know, that foolishness yeah. is bound in the heart of a child. Yeah. But those who use that rod will drive it out of we'll them. Will drive it out. And well, you know what? I hate to cut you off. Okay. <laughs> See, this is a hot topic. We it gotta really move is. on to yeah. the next one. We we need to blog about this one. We need to do <laughs> okay. an after show about that one. So let's talk about somebody that um I really admire, and it's Leandria Johnson. Yeah. I said her name, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, it's it's out there. Leandria Johnson, you know that she won Sunday's Best. Right. And this girl has... A firehouse. Oh, my gosh. She She's has... A fire. Yeah, talent beyond talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it just comes out of her so naturally. Right. And she has been in the headlines quite a bit. Right. And the reason that you and I decided to talk about her this particular um, subject is preparedness. Right. Preparedness. Right. Um, when people go on these competition shows and they win, are they prepared or should they be prepared for the after show, if you will? Right. Once mm -hmm. they win, should they be prepared? Let's talk about Leandria a little bit. Her well, situation. I think, you know, with Leandria, um, I think she's just a prime example of any Christian, mm -hmm. whether they're a celebrity mm -hmm. or whether they're at home every day and nobody knows them, mm -hmm. it's just a, just a, a prime example that we're not perfect. Right. We're not perfected. Even when you do win, you know, Sunday's mm -hmm. Best or mm -hmm. if you win American Idol, that mm -hmm. does not mean that your life will be like that of Jesus Christ. Right. You know, and I think as watchers, mm -hmm. you know, with the struggles that she's gone through, I believe uh, she said that w her brother died. Yeah. Um, she got into alcohol alcoholism. Mm -hmm. um, and then everybody's obviously seeing that, you know, she's um, expecting a child. Right. I don't know if she's had the child yet or not. Yeah. But, um, you know, people talk about, you know, oh, you know, she's, you know, the gospel artist and blah, blah, blah. But when it all boils down to it, um, she's not a perfect saint. Right. And we, as onlookers, mm -hmm. it is our job mm -hmm. to pray for her Absolutely. because the girl got an anointing. Yes, she has. She has. There's a yeah. calling on her life. Yeah. And of course, you know, not to, you know, talk all religious like, mm -hmm. but the devil does not want her anointing to go very far. Absolutely. Well, I agree with you that we just need to keep her in our prayers right. because I believe this is part of her journey. Right. This is part of her journey because mm -hmm. we've all had challenges and trials in our lives. So I want to continue to lift that girl up because this is not the end of her. I think this thing is going to catapult her. Ooh -wee, like a into slingshot. Some, yeah, like a slingshot. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Now it's time to say goodbye. Oh, <laughs> our company. <laughs> we should stick to what we do. Yeah. So um, we got to go to break, and we're going to come back with our purpose moments because the show is almost over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So don't go away. We're going to come right back with purpose moments on Coffee with Monica with Sherry Livingston. We'll see you right back in a moment. 
Every child is curious. George, look what I found. Turn their curiosity into a lifelong love of learning. Create a curious reader. This is super bedtime reading. Share a book together today. Visit read.gov. Welcome back to Coffee with Monica. And we decided to do Purpose Moments a little different today um, because I have a wonderful co-host here. And with all of the things that goes on in the lives of celebrities, our politicians, I mean, even our lives, you know, we hear all of the challenges and trials, but we felt like it would be good to end this show on a positive note. So we wanted to talk about tender moments that we've experienced in our lives. And we consider these hot topics as well. And so one of my hot topic tender moments is <laughs> You don't realize what an impact that you're making on other people's lives because right. we go about doing our daily thing. We do what we do. And so my birthday came around. I didn't put out banners or flyers, no nothing. Well, I was teaching piano mm -hmm. one evening and, and I forgot to bring it. I was going to bring it today. And one of my students came in and he brought something in. It just brought tears to my eyes. Aww. It was a vase, and it had little candies on the bottom, but sticking out, I guess that would be, represent the flowers, right. were all different types of chocolate candy bars. Ooh, it was different candy delicious. bars. It's delicious, but when I saw it and he brought it in, it made my heart melt that this young student That's would so think sweet. so much of me. And y'all know I love chocolate. <laughs> so that was my tender moment. That was my hot topic for the day because it warmed my heart. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, my hot topic for the day may not be quite that tender, <laughs> but <laughs> that was that's um, one of the things that I'm currently in the process of doing is um, training for a half marathon. Yeah. Um, I'm actually training with my sister. She's living in Washington, D.C. right now, but uh, we kind of, you know, keep each other accountable. Mm -hmm. um, last weekend, we had a little conversation, and between all of our running, we're thinking, you know, maybe we should just settle for a 10K. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to, you know, push for that half marathon, yeah. but it, it very well may be that we just settle for the 10K, and then wow. we're going to run it together. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's a hot topic. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a hot topic. Wow. Yeah. Well, Sherry, it has been great today. I don't Yay. know about you. Did you enjoy yourself? I loved it. It's good. So We're exciting. Gonna this again. We're going to see what our viewers have to say about this. So, hey, you guys, if you all enjoyed the Hot Topic show as much as we did, we want to hear from you. Uh, go out to www.coffeewithmonicashow.com. There's going to be more tidbits from Sherry and I. And also, you can email me at monica at coffeewithmonicashow.com. And Sherry, how can they get a hold of you? Info at LadyMagazineToday.org. All right. Well, as always, be blessed. We, we're glad that you came and had coffee with us today, and we're looking forward to having more hot topics with Sherry Livingston. We'll see you later on Coffee with Monica. That was great.